Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, we investigate the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide by testing for oxygen. Hydrogen peroxide, chemical formula H2O2, is a very reactive substance. So reactive, in fact, that it has been used to oxidize fuel in rockets, creating the powerful explosion pushing the rocket forward. When hydrogen peroxide decomposes, it produces water and oxygen. It is so unstable that the decomposition is speeded by exposure to light. That's why hydrogen peroxide is sold in brown bottles. The hydrogen peroxide you buy for antiseptic purposes is actually only a 3% solution. If left in the bottle, it decomposes slowly, so it will last about a year. But even at only 3%, hydrogen peroxide can be made to decompose much quicker. All you need to do is add a catalyst. Catalysts increase the rate of chemical reactions. In the case of hydrogen peroxide, many things can act as a catalyst. But for this demonstration, we will use yeast. Adding yeast speeds the decomposition, and since the reaction is exothermic, it gives off plenty of heat, making the water hot. Also produced is oxygen, which we can test for. A glowing splint will burst into flame if exposed to high amounts of oxygen. This glowing splint test is a fire hazard, so you should not attempt it. Conducting this decomposition reaction is quite simple. What we're going to do is take some hydrogen peroxide and put it into this flask. Then we're going to insert a temperature probe so that we can get a starting temperature for the hydrogen peroxide. So I will just start the probe, and it looks like we have a temperature of around um, 19 degrees, maybe a little bit higher. Now we have to start the, de the, the decomposition by adding a catalyst. A catalyst speeds chemical reactions, so in this case we're going to use yeast. I'm just going to take a teaspoon of this yeast and put it into the flask. And I'll give it a little swirl. And what we'll do is we'll put the microphone right into the flask so you can hear. You can also see that there's a, oh, quite a lot of violent bubbling. Now, another thing that we can do to confirm that we have a decomposition reaction is remember that when hydrogen peroxide breaks down, it turns into water and oxygen. So we can test for oxygen by using a glowing splint. Now, this you do not want to do. It should only be done in a laboratory by a professional because it involves an open flame. So what we do is light a splint and get it to the point where it is glowing hot. So there you can see we have a glowing splint. And if we put this in the presence of oxygen, it should burst into flames. And we can see that it really bursts into flames when we put it into the flask. So that tells us that there's a lot of oxygen present. We can also see by our temperature gauge that we have a temperature now of 35 degrees. So a lot of heat has been produced, a lot of oxygen is produced, and that tells us that we had a successful decomposition reaction for hydrogen peroxide. 